Right in the center there. This hand free. Okay. To wrap this ankle. Okay, so he's wrapping the ankle, right? I, I Your right hand reach for his collar. He wraps the ankle. He steps in with that right foot, right? He sits back, and you take that right up, but to the to your left. Why allow him? Yes. Come up. Come up. Come up. Come up. Watch out. No, no, watch, watch. Justin, come up. Come back up. Let go of the sleeve. You know he wants to fall off to that side. You got to bring him to the wrong side. So as he slowly sits, yes. tilt to your left, tuck your left leg, and come up. But tuck it underneath him. Yes, come up, put your foot on the mat. Now, now he needs to know he's losing that ankle lock, and he needs to go into X guard because that foot didn't go into single leg X position. You need to know he's got to go into X guard, and now your foot's not in danger. Does that kind of make sense? Yes. And in all honesty, look, So you grab my ankle, right? And I'm here, right? Mm -hmm. The other thing is, is that I know it as you sit, begin to pull back. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I get here. He's not going to be able to get my ankle in any position. And, then, and if I'm here and, and I'm heavy, there's no ankle lock because he's just out of position. Does that make sense? Yep. Because to get the ankle locked, he needs to flex my foot forward. You know what I'm saying? So, and from here, here, I want you to tuck that left foot and pull yourself up as he goes back. Okay. Over here. The That's other thing, yeah, that. and the other thing is, is that the second this happens, I put on the boot. Because even if you fall to the left, to your left side, okay, try to finish it. Okay? Even here, try to, let's say, let's say you reach, you lean back and I couldn't get to the collar. Try to finish it. You see it right there? And I keep putting on the boot. Because from here I can go here, here, and I can begin to move. So now he anticipates it and he's got to switch. So what you can do now is start scooting your hips back and come up to like a guard pass. Yes, yes, come up. Okay. Now he may want to go for another ankle lock from here, but I know that I gotta put the boot on because what he has to do is he has to put yes, he has to do that. So that's why when you wrap it. Roll your shoulder back. Yeah, right there. And now as you fall back, fall back quick and to the left. Yeah, see now it's better. Because now here I'm late. But if you look away to the left, even if I go here, hip into it. Okay? And this foot needs to be here. Or if I take this off. How do I how do I want my foot angled? You know, in all honesty, everybody knows that when it's here, okay, that you'll take it off. Mm -hmm. So roll to your back and hook it on the inside of, on the outside of my knee. Lean back. Yeah. And, and with the knee pointed up. Yeah. Lean back. Lean back. Sorry, right here. Yes, right here. Okay. So now he's preventing me from getting up. I can't effectively straighten out my right leg because he's on my toes. Get this left hand. Yes. Right here. Okay. And now from here he scoots in, keeps that foot here. Scoot your butt in. Yes. And now this knee is gonna, as he leans back and lifts his hip, back, 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 now to your side. Keep the knee up. I can get up over that knee, but he's already flexing my foot. Lift your hip off the mat. Right here. And it finishes the ankle lock. So it's a counter to a counter to a counter. But to get out of ankle locks, it all depends on how he has his feet configured. Is going to depend on what you're going to do. But the first reaction should be put on the boot and pull the head. So I can pull my ankle past the point where he's pushing the toes. Okay? So you're down. So you can pass here and go here. The second that happens, you grab a collar. Yes. Yeah. I would just let it go. Because it's so already deep on that calf, there's, there's no point. Okay? But if maybe I'm passing here and the foot's on the hip here, and he's got an open guard of some kind, 
Yes, right here. And I go here. And I go here. Keep pulling. Yes, yes. And I do one hand to pull. See here, I, I don't, I don't have any. So I'll maybe tilt them this way here. And then I'll come back up to where I'm gonna improve my position. Even though he defended the ankle lock, I still need to be ahead of him because why am I gonna constantly keep fighting a position that I know I mm -hmm. kind of don't have? Does that make sense? So try this. Get your right ankle wrapped here. Grab a collar right here. Okay. So as I begin to sit back, okay, you're gonna tilt me to the wrong side. Yes. No. Yes. Now come up on your knee. So now I have to already go into a better position, otherwise he's gonna pass the single like that. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. That can answer your question? Yes. So, grab the collar, put on the boot, and to make it simple, just come out. So, so we're here, let's say I'm here, okay? And I want my hand at his ankle. So it's like you're choking his ankle, not his calf. He grabs my collar and he extends his leg and pulls the toes back. I can't even bring myself back here. And now he tilts left. You get, no, no, on your hand. Get up. Yes. So now I have to immediately begin to go to a guard because if I'm here still cranking on that ankle, okay, he's gonna reach even deeper here, okay, and he's gonna sit. Yes. Yeah, so I can't even get the single leg X or X, and then he'll push that knee through, and then I have to already begin to bail out on the whole situation in order to be able to get out of position because he's beating me to the position. Does that make sense? So all I want you guys to do is this. From an ankle lock, okay? Let's see if in here, let's see if it's deep. You grab the collar and, and pull my head down in and keep, yes. Look, I would still have single leg edge, but get up. Take your foot flat on the mat. I'd probably switch the next start here and begin to already go to something else. Because if I wanted to reclaim that ankle lock here, I need to sit back here, okay? And I can put my foot here like I taught him that. See, and I can break that grip because he can't really hold on to it. Or if he pushes himself back up, you have a lot of options here, but I still don't have the ankle lock until I get here. We see. Grab the collar and put on the boot. It's your first priority. Grab a collar, put on the boot. You don't need two hands on the collar. You just need one. And if you know he wants to tilt towards the side of the ankle that he has, tilt him this way here. Put on the boot and tuck your foot so you can get up and keep that foot planted and keep pulling the head. Because now you're already in a passing position, right? So let's do it. One, two, three. 